Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I know it's been quite a while since I last uploaded a video but today I'm here with some new content. So I'm pretty sure with 1.18.1 and all that stuff that all of you have heard about the create mod. Yes, I have the create mod installed on this world as you can see here and today I'm going to be giving you as you can probably tell from the title, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to make a drawbridge. And this sea is kind of perfect so because we are right next to a river, which can act as the moat. So if you wish to build a castle with a drawbridge, you can refer to this tutorial using the create mod. So without further ado, let's head right into the video. So, in order to create a drawbridge, firstly, you need to pick your selected block. So for me, personally, I like spruce planks and polished deep slate because they go well together so those will be the blocks i'll be using and then after that what you're gonna need is uh you can either use a creative motor or water wheel but for convenience sake we're just gonna be using a creative motor we're also gonna be needing a clutch and a gear shift if you don't know what these two does a clutch when it's powered it will stop a shaft from rotating and yes we also need the shaft and the gear shift will alternate the direction now the next we need a mechanical bearing which will allow the, the bridge to rotate and i think that should be about it so firstly we need to measure the length of the bridge so we can just measure here one block two block three block four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. So this bridge is gonna be 16 blocks tall. So you can come on the first one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. As you can see, that's kind of tall, but it, it's worth it. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be constructing the door. I'll just fast forward or skip this part. Because it's kind of boring. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now we're done with the bridge and what you want to do is uh, you want to get some glue the glue is all the way at the bottom and if you want you can also use your engineer's goggles I like to use those because I can see all different stuff Anyways, let's get started So what you need is some redstone uh, You also need a lever Wait, give a second, let me look for it. Yes, you need a lever. And this should be enough. So what you want to do is you want to attach every single block to each other. So this way you can make sure none of the blocks go haywire. But do not attach to the ground. If not, the ground will move along with it. So what I want to do right now is to attach every single block. And I can just put this here. Take another layer. Basically, all you have to do is you want to super glue every single block to prevent the block from flying all over the place. So, yeah, I'll just super glue all the blocks and I'll see you in this.
I am done, so I have super glued every single block you can see here. So all the blocks are attached. And now, what you're gonna want to do is, I'm just gonna attach an extra block here. You're going to want to make a mechanical bearing, and it must be facing the right direction. Oh god, it's facing down. You want it to be touching this block and by right it should be already attached so what you want to do is you want a gear shift in case you don't know what this does you can look here gear shift will relay a rotation in a straight line however if it's activated it will reverse the transmission and for the clutch it's basically the same thing except instead of reversing the transmission it will stop the transmission as you can see right now yes so what we can do here is we need to leave a one block gap in between each for the for the shaft we're gonna want to attach the shaft the gear shift that's the gear shift and then we are gonna want to put the clutch right here and we can place the creative motor you want to do that just Next, now you need a lever. So of course you can use the deep state to clean this up a bit and make it nicer. What I'm gonna do is if you want the gear shift, if you want the gear shift to go down, then the lever must be facing up. Because this way, if I did it correctly, I need to test it out. Oh god. Oh I forgot something. Anyways, I'll just fix that error real quick. Just give me a second. I forgot to super glue these blocks. Yeah, there we go. So, if you do it correctly, when you turn the clutch, it will cause the whole bridge to go down. Like that. Oh, that's a bit faster than I wanted. Hey, I'm not complaining. It works. You can reduce the speed of the generator if it's a bit too fast for you. Then, if you want it to come back up, you need to make sure this lever is activated and the block is glowing. Clutch, and it will go back up. So there you go. This is how you make a drawbridge. And yes, so I believe that is all we have time for today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and as always do leave a like and subscribe uh, and check your blocks and build. Signing out.